Hello, welcome back. This is Dave Breiner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, today I thought I'd present you with an interesting way on how to remove material from a part by using a mating part inside an assembly. Uh, sometimes we end up with some interesting geometry that we need to uh, create on a on a mating face and instead of going through and uh, creating, I don't know, two or three sketches to uh, to cut that out. Uh, there is another alternative. I know there's many ways to do this, but uh, this one I thought would be rather interesting. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reapply this mate. So suppress. So I have that shape down inside of here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, double click and edit the part that I want to remove material from. So I'm editing the part that I'm going to, I need to create the cavity or whatever in. So uh, that in this case is going to be my, uh, the screen part, the, the cap. So first of all what I'm going to do is go to the modify panel and under the pull down you're going to see that I got, I'm going to go into the copy object option. And in here what I want to do is uh, I want to select the body and I have a couple options down here. There's a con so you can use either composite or surface. Now I've had uh, different uh, results on some of these but these two work just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bottom part. In this case it's my seat. The bottom part that uh, I want to have as the cutter if you want to if you if you will and you can make that associative if you like so if I move something it will automatically update I'll take a look at that a little bit later so I'm just going to say apply and uh, cancel so right away now I've got something you can see I've got a body in here actually it's just a surface All right. so uh, what I want to do with that now um, I'm going to come over here to my surface panel and use the sculpt command. So under sculpt uh, it's going to ask me um, choose a surface and I'll select that surface you can see it's got uh, a red outline in my case and uh, what I want to do with this, well I, I don't want to add it, the first thing I want to do is add material, I'm going to say cut and you're going to see that it gives me a little bit of a highlight of what it's going to cut out and this is perfect for for this instance but often it kind of gets a little bit of a bug and and you gotta you gotta push it along a little bit so if you go to explain expand the more options under the surface you can see that you're gonna have a uh, a couple options here of uh, what you can do uh, now mine happen to be correct but don't forget to go down there and maybe you may have to uh, select a couple uh, a different option for yours and uh, in this case I'm just gonna say uh, I'm gonna leave that one there I'm gonna say okay alright and uh, there it is so you can see that it's cut out but uh, for right now let's just uh, return and um, for this one here I'm going to turn the visibility of the seat off and take a look and that went pretty fast and uh, I didn't have to do a lot of work uh, and uh, looks good so the other option uh, there are times in here that you may end up having some part of the model or a void or a lump left from um, from your shape just because the surface did not encompass or grab that part of the material there could be something hanging right here in the middle the way to delete that or remove it is if you go to under the modify panel the delete faces um, and then choose and you can see you have a couple options in here you can select individual faces which really not be one if you go to the second option is delete uh, select the lump or the void uh, it'll allow you to select any kind of little part that's hanging out there in the middle of nowhere that you just don't need you can select that and say okay and it'll it'll remove any of those little um, little solids that are hanging out all right um, that's it uh, it's a nice way to um, to remove that uh, one of the other thing I did want to show you real quick it's not gonna let's see let's turn this visibility back on if I remove this uh, constraint again 
I'll just suppress that. You're going to see, and I'll turn it over. You're going to see that it um, it maintains it, but as soon as I let go, uh, it's going to remove that material. It automatically updates. So uh, because this is an case now, as soon as I grab this and pull it some more, you'll see that you know that part has changed. But uh, so that's the associative part. It will automatically update immediately uh, according to um, how you have that. So you can see that I can pull that either way. All right. uh, that's the associative uh, aspect of this. Um, in most cases, you may not need it, so I'll leave that off. And then again, if I just uh, go to open this part, and you'll see there's the part, and the cutout still stays. So. Uh, that's a nice option. Works great. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, I'm sure there, there's a lot of options where you may have that from time to time. So um, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them uh, down below in uh, the comments. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever you like. I uh, hope this was a, a, good, uh, a good tutorial for some of your ongoing skills. Again, my name is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Thanks for joining me. Uh, till later, take care.